welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Aura, and if you are coming back, hello, welcome, thank you for spending some time with me. Before we start this video, I wanted to take the time to kind of chat with you all about where I've been, how I've been doing, and just be honest and keep an honest relationship here because that's all I ever want to do on this channel. If you saw my last video, cleaning and cleansing my altar spaces, I shared a little bit about how I have been neglecting my practices, um, my rituals, and just not being in my power, honestly. After I did that video, after I cleansed my space and um, kind of gave myself a new slate to work with, it was better, but still very difficult in a lot of um, aspects. So yeah, I've been struggling mentally for a little while now, and I recently made the big decision to start looking for a therapist again and start going back to therapy, which is great. I'm proud of myself for making that decision. Sorry if I'm looking off into the distance. It just helps me process and think. I'm learning a lot about myself. Um, maybe I'll talk about it in a later video, but yeah, just been having a, a little bit of a difficult time, which has uh, transferred over into me not feeling confident in my ability to make content, um, not feeling comfortable with myself enough to make content, I have tried multiple times in the past week to finish this video because um, I'll explain a little bit later, but the audio was thrown off while making it, so I needed to sit down an, a second time and film again for it. But I kept having this idea in my head that I would feel better and I would put on makeup and put on a cute outfit and sit down in front of the camera and film and it would be great and I tried to do that today and I just had to be honest with myself like I can't do that right now that I don't have it in me to do that right now and I still really want to put this out uh, this video out and I don't want to wait any longer so here I am it's probably not even a big change you know but yeah so um that's that glad to be back my channel started on smoke therapy videos and I have really been wanting to do a updated one and I always want to be honest with you all about my mental health and my journey because that is what I started this channel about so that's what I'm doing anyway let's get into this video I guess so about two weeks ago it snowed only for three days and it was so beautiful and now it is gone and sunny almost every other day now it's crazy how nature works but I was able to get outside and do some snow magic with you all and share it for you so that's what I will be doing today talking about snow magic some spells that you can do with snow and just the properties and history of snow magic Winter time is the perfect time for magic. This time is quiet and great for reflecting and going inward. Working with snow in our spell work is a beautiful way to be reminded that not all spell work is about instant results, and patience is key to manifest our deepest desires and long-term goals. Snow is water, so it holds a lot of the same properties. It's healing, cleansing, purifying, emotional, and passionate. There are a few deities that represent snow and its wild mysteries. Frahol, a Norse goddess, is associated with snowfall and the cycles of birth and death. And Yuki Ona, a Japanese spirit, is associated with winter storms. When working with any element, it is important for us to recognize how it is coming to us and how we can use that energy within our spell work. When we're working with snow, the differences can look like a soft snowfall or a large winter storm. Snow gathered during a calm snowfall can enhance spells dealing with peace, healing, and tranquility. 
snow gathered during a blizzard or snowstorm can enhance high energy, active, and powerful spells. Now that we know a little bit about snow's properties, I would like to share some spells that you can use snow with if you would like. If it's near you or if you go somewhere that has snow, you can do some of these too. The first spell is snow water. This is essentially the same as moon water, river water, sun water. Gather fresh snow in jars. You can freeze them until you're ready to use them or use them right away. Gather your jar and place it on your altar or where you are working with a spell. Set your spell intentions, casting a circle, writing down your intentions, or combining herbs and oils in whichever way fits your spell. Meditate with the jar and allow the snow to melt. You don't have to meditate with it the whole time because it could take a while. Allow the snow to melt in the place of a candle. And once the snow has melted, you can either freeze your jar to solidify your work, or you can use the water, sprinkling it around your house, spreading it over windows, doors, mirrors, if it's for protection, or any other intention you set within it. This next spell I like to call Snow Bad Habits. When I say bad habits, I refer to those habits that don't align with you at your core, that you want to rid yourself from so you can better yourself and move forward. Write down a bad habit you want to rid yourself from and roll the small paper up. Form a snowball around the paper and once you have your snowball, throw the ball as far away from you as you can. Don't forget to do the effort every day to rid yourself of this habit, making it a conscious effort as well as a spiritual effort. And the last spell that I have to share with you all is a snow guardian. Craft a guardian out of snow with intention. Your intentions could be for protecting your home and land, blessing your home, or inviting friendship into your life. As your snow guardian stands, it will hold your intentions, and once it melts, it will go into the earth, bringing forth new opportunities. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. I feel a lot better now that I have sat down and recorded this even if I wasn't dressed up to my nines. That is okay. Oh, I also dyed my hair. I don't know if you probably all saw, but. <laughs> well, I hope to see you all soon. I can feel myself ready to come back to the internet, come back to make content. The sun is coming out. I am feeling fire in me. I'm done hibernating, everything will be okay. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, a beautiful day to you all, blessings, bye. This is kombucha by the way, the best one, bye guys.